What's up and welcome to Banshee Boat. Today's episode is Boating 101. This video is gonna give you all the tools you need to hit the lake this weekend with confidence. Woo! Banshee Boat, baby! Close. Banshee boat for everything boating. These maneuvers could be dangerous if not operating the boat properly. Do so at your own risk. Make sure to always have boating safety equipment, plus your craft license on board, and always wear your PFD. Be conscious of those around you. Respect the shared water weight. Remember, never drink alcohol on boat. Always play safe on the water. First things first, safety. Whether it comes to wearing your PFD and having all the proper safety supplies on your boat, or whether it's your trailer lights and trailer tires, all these things are a critical cog in the wheel you might say, of your boating experience for the entire weekend being an extreme success. If you've never driven with a trailer before, it's important to understand all the things involved with using a trailer and backing a trailer up. If you'd like to know how to back up a trailer like a pro, check out the description right down there and I'm gonna put a link straight to the video, how to back up a trailer like a pro. There's some things you're not expecting that can change the course of the entire day. Safety helps you be prepared for these problems. Oops. So firstly, in Canada, you're gonna need a boater's license. And if you plan to go fishing, you're also going to need a fishing license. These are easy to obtain. Check out in the description, I'm gonna put a link straight to uh, where you can pick up a boater's license or a fishing license. But now, you're gonna need all the safety supplies. Some of them are by law safety supplies to have in your boat just in case of emergencies. You're never gonna wanna wind up in the middle of the lake stranded with no way to get back. There's nothing worse. Some of the safety supplies you're going to need and some of the ones you're going to need by law include a flashlight, a first aid kit, a buoyant heaving line, a sharp knife for cutting any um, tangles or let's say perhaps your propeller got tangled up in a fishing net. You never know an emergency flare or some type of a way to uh, reflect the sunlight and to bring more attention to yourself in case of an emergency. You're gonna need plenty of water. My rule of thumb is about four liters per person per day. You're going to need a sound signaling device. You can use a blow horn, but uh, a whistle is really effective. On the water, you wouldn't even believe how far sound travels. With some type of a device um, to reflect the sunlight, you can actually get attention quite easily if you have any problems. You're also going to need some type of a device to reboard your boat, whether it's a string ladder or a solid ladder. You need to have a properly fitting PFD for every single person on board. And it's, um, the PFD won't work if you don't wear it. If you somehow ended up outside your boat, you wanna have your life jacket on so that you can increase your chances of survival. And last but not least, you're going to need some type of paddle. If your motor dies out in the middle of the lake, there's nothing worse than being stranded out there. So at least with paddles, you can have some way to get back to shore. Do you think anybody noticed if I uh, took off to the snack bar real quick? Uh, I'm kind of getting hungry. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Just be careful, because if you get caught, you might get uh, paddled. <laughs> so now you've got safety covered. Now it's time to get your boat from where you're storing it to the lake. So this is an important thing. Every step in the procedure operating your trailer to get from where you're storing your boat to the lake safely. And if you've never operated a trailer before, check out in the video down below everything about trailers. I'm gonna put more great videos in the links and you can learn in depth on more things. You're gonna to need to get your boat from where you're storing it to the lake safely. So you've just launched your boat at the ramp, you've parked your truck or your vehicle, and you're cruising through the water, and now you have an entire new world to deal with. You have underwater hazards, potentially rocks or wood. You have potentially bad inclement weather. You have other boaters on the water. Arr, I'm a pirate and I'll be taking this here lake as my own. And I'm a greedy pirate. And I'll be flying right by those trollers and those fishermen at full throttle. And I'll be going right near those kayakers. And I'll be drinking and abusing my pirate powers. 
so you better look out for me. There's many different types of hazards on the water, so just take your time to fully understand each one. If you're new to somewhere and you've never been to that lake before, take your time to fully understand the lake and make sure to look out for potential underwater hazards because a lot of times you can see under the water so kind of just uh, do a little bit of research on the lake and take your time before you really go full out on the lake because imagine hitting a boulder or a chunk of wood or a driftwood or something at 40 miles an hour that would be not good you might tear out the bottom of your boat or just rip out your engine, or even worse, be ejected from the boat. You just never know. So make sure you really research the lake before you go hard on it. I got a joke for you two scurvy dogs. Why are pirates cool? Because they are. It's important to know and be familiar with every single boat control your boat has. If you're new to boating, make sure you're 100% comfortable with your boating controls. Once you launch your boat, take your boat somewhere safe and check out all the controls and really see how your boat works. Because when it comes down to a stressful time and you might have, you might have to rely on split seconds and muscle memory to avoid some type of a problem. So it's important to know exactly how your boat works and know all the functions. Something that's uh, often overlooked, sunscreen's great. But if it's gonna be a sunny day and there's not one single cloud in the sky, an umbrella might be a great thing to have because it can actually provide some protection from the sun, some shade, because uh, being in the sun all day can take its toll. It's funny, but being in the middle of a lake could sometimes feel like being in the middle of a desert. So make sure to have something that uh, can give you a little bit of sun protection. Has anyone seen my plug anywhere? Take your time when you're boating, and remember, drinking and boating, doing any anything uh, bad, excessive speed, close to the shore, make sure to follow all your rules. If you'd like to know more about boating rules, check out the video in the description. I'm gonna put a great video down there. So just take your time and go through the steps one by one. Write yourself a list so you don't forget anything. Remember to put your plug in, and remember to leave a comment on your boating experiences right down below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know anything, and we'll be back next week with another fantastic video. Do some great stuff. We're gonna do some drone shots, new lakes. We're gonna, we are only striving to get 4K shots. I'm gonna try and get the best sound and the best video in every single video to come and make it better and better every single video that I make. So hopefully you subscribe right down there because every video that comes out, you are gonna be happy with. Check out one of these other fantastic videos. You won't be disappointed.